through there. No beard got a little weirded out. It is, uh, it is quite deep. Mr. Bever has been very, very busy. So what we're going to do is kill the house, break the dam. This is right on one of our main roads here. So, all right. I got a game cam set up here. If there's any, uh, any decent footage on it, you guys will see it. I'm going to uh, break the dam and get some traps set. See you on down the line. All right, folks. This is the uh, the spillway I have the game cam set up on. You guys should be seeing uh, footage of that very shortly. So she comes right down the dam. I got a 330 set right there underneath that uh, that stick. There's a bit of a used trail right here. So I have another 330 set there. We're going to do a uh, probably a scent trap. And I'll see you on the, uh, the other side of the road back towards uh, where you've seen my son backing up with the four wheeler. See if there's a, a good spot to set over there. All right, folks. <clears throat> the beaver house is right there. I broke the dam to hopefully drop this water level by a foot or so by morning. My son there didn't want to cross it, it was too deep for him. And Dad, this one's for you. Your straight run of the mill scent trap. I wanted to get uh, wanted to get four sets in. There's uh, really only a spot for well, I could make up some more, I shouldn't say that. I'm trying to prolong the season a little bit. I just started. There's the classic scent trap. It's wired to a drag pole, the spruce, the new traps. Do you really need it? Not really. More for peace of mind. And then right here, right behind the trap, is a beaver scent. 330 Savage O in a natural funnel. Yeah, so we'll see what we have in the morning. Ciao. Well, mesdames and messieurs, it's day two of our adventure here. Uh, we're heading up to the main river to look for some more beaver houses and get some rat barges out. It's been a cool, wet, snowy, miserable day. So we just got to the spot where we're trying to kill the house here and walk in and check some traps. Floating in the water right there, yep. Glad your scent trap paid off like usual. It's a kitten. I'm gonna probably uh, leave these guys here and I'll reset them right back. Yep. The kitten. And they came and stamped out. If you remember earlier, I had showed you the where the scent was. So another one come along and stamped out the scent. That's right on. Got some rat burges to check. Ooh. The water has dropped considerably, but it could go down some more. Ah, we'll run the
the bikes across and then we'll check those other traps. Well, that was foolish. I should have left the camera going for that. It's uh, it's uncomfortably deep for sure, for sure. Nothing struck the barges last night. It looks like I got a muskrat in this set down here. The trap is off. Or maybe a whole lot of nothing. Which is never a good sign. They pushed the, the trap over and missed it. Yeah, uh oh. Things just got a little more interesting. And then this one here is still set. Okay. Well, we got one kitten, anyways. Check out the game cam footage. We'll see you on down the line. All right, madams and messieurs, we're up pretty well as far as I can get on the south end of this uh, this main river system. I might be able to get up a little higher if I wanted to jump the rapids, but I'm not going too crazy in this kind of weather. Anyways, what we have here, um, last year, I think like my first video last year, uh, there was two houses right across from each other. That's this particular spot. We got a nice crossover coming from the main river all the way across into this little pond area here so I set up a 330 there and another 330 here I tipped it with a little bit of scent I don't see a live beaver house down this end but it doesn't doesn't mean that he's not around you can see right across the river here we got all kinds of fresh beaver signs so he has been down eating and if not it might be good for a muskrat or otter you never know anyways we'll see you at the next set All right, fellas, we've been throwing out uh, rat barges as we go. We come to this spot, we got a fresh feed bed. Uh, just back here around the corner, I noticed a, a beaver house that had fresh mud, no feed bed. And uh, if this was his house, it is severely waterlogged. We've had uh, high amounts of rain, a few storms, snow. I bet you the, the river here is up a good two or three feet. So anyways, you can you can see over here. Maybe you can't. Huh? Where is you? There's uh yeah, you can see all the fresh chews anyways. So Originally this was his house, it flooded out, he went and built a new house, his feed bed is still here. They're still using it as a feed mound. So I slapped in, there's a nice little channel right here, I slapped in the 330. So, with any luck it'll pay off. Ooh, has he ever been munching? Let's see all the shiny tips. Right on. Well, with any luck, another one off the quota. See you further on down the line. All right, madams and messieurs. We're at, uh, what is this? Third house? One, two, how many traps did I start off with? Five? We're down to, what, one? Yeah, so this is the, the third house. There's a feed bed right there. I haven't found the house yet unless it's further on up the river. As I was setting the set, he, he come along and swiped his tail and was a little upset with us. So again, just a nice, uh, very nice spillway. Piece of scent in behind it. Back up to his cutting territory here. Give you an idea of what it looks like. I love scent traps. They're my, uh, my go-to, my fave, my... My dad taught me scent traps years ago. If I'm having difficulty at a house, that's what I set. Anyways, we'll see you on down the line. <laughs> 